Hi, I'm Marco Rabondo with our washers at washmart.com here in Kima, Texas. Uh, I've been asked frequently about this, and I had someone from Australia contact me today asking about it, and I sent him a bunch of pictures. And instead of me sending a bunch of pictures every time or spending 20 minutes explaining, I'm going to make this video that I'm going to copy and paste and send to you so I don't have to explain it again. Uh, but this is uh, how we do metering on the Comet P36 system. We had a different one that was uh, a little different, but what we found is there's two major components in this, water and bleach. And with your bleach, you could put in your surfactant and batch mix this with a bleach stable surfactant. You don't really need to have a third metering uh, tube for your, for your surfactant. I mean, some people could do it for you know, different purposes, but for us, we don't need it. So what we have is we have a T plumbed in at the bottom of this water tank. And what we do is we have a one inch slip on by one inch male pipe threaded nipple that goes onto this that adapts to this one inch check valve. Then we put on a one inch barb, worm clamp, one inch hose, one inch barb, worm clamp, one inch PVC ball valve. This is what you can do to turn the water on or off. And if you want to reduce how much water you're using, because you have a half inch metering valve on your bleach, which means you're going to not be able to get 50% bleach and 50% water if you left this all the way open. So you can choke this and reduce how much water you have, and you can then increase the intensity of your bleach. Then after this, we have one inch barb, worm clamp, one inch hose, then we have another T. This T is now pushed down to a half inch. We have a half inch check valve. This is going to keep water from contaminating your bleach. The one inch check valve from earlier is going to keep your bleach from contaminating your water. That's what the check valves are for. This is plumbed into our drum. And then we have a PVC that is about one inch from the bottom right here. You never want it directly on the bottom or else it can cause an issue with a vacuum. If you have a, a, a small particles, it, it can cause the, the, the PVC to, to cavitate the pump. So then you're metering this, one inch barb, one inch barb. This is a T. Now this is what makes this different. We have a half inch barb, elbow actually, and then we have the half inch bar that comes with the P36 system. This is your bypass. Normally this goes back into your tank. Instead, we're recirculating it through this line. And what I've found, we used a, I did a dye test where I put blue dye in our surfactant. And what we learned is that you didn't have to make a ridiculously large line because it slowly started turning blue all the way to the check valve, which means the water is circulating within itself pretty well. And if you let this go on bypass too long, it is going to overheat the water and then it can overheat the pump. But with how much, uh, with, but with how much surface that we have on the inside, with how much inner diameter we have on the hose, it allows the fluid to travel more freely. So it's recirculating and these check valves keep it from contaminating these two tanks and you're recirculating the same component. Whenever you release your trigger, then it is creating the suction and then you have the same concentration all time, and that's how you can meter it. Um, I know this seems ridiculous. No, I have not created a, a contraption. Maybe I should, but I, I haven't uh, to make this more simple to where somebody can just make it turnkey. Uh, soft wash systems are not our, 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 our thing. You know, we're, we're not uh, specialized in this, but it is an add-on item that we've had for our clients that, that needed pressure washers and soft wash equipment. So... If you have any questions, give me a message on Facebook, contact us at 713-979-7532. If I'm readily available, I'll help you in every way I can. My name is Marco with Washmart.com, and thank you for shopping at Washmart.